Welcome back to another video about my solo trip to Kyoto over New Year's. Uh, today is day three and much like my previous day, I think I managed to get at least one good photo that I'm actually quite proud of. It ended up being one of the final photos of the day, but it was completely worth it. The rest of the day maybe didn't go as planned, but it was a great adventure nonetheless. So without talking anymore, let's just go right to it. Good morning. Uh, it's a bit chilly, but uh, is she all right? Uh, I do need to stop at like a Colombian or something and get like breakfast. I don't know if I'll do that after I get the car or before I get the car. It's about like a 10 minute walk, so I actually will get there at eight, maybe just perfectly. But excited for the day. I mean, it's clear here, but it might be raining where I'm going, which is like two hours above actual Kyoto city. Yeah, I'm going two hours north of Kyoto to a place called Ine no Funaya. Ine no Funaya. And then after that, I'll come a little back, like 30 minutes, uh, to Amano Hashidate, which is very famous for one of the three beautiful views of Japan, or the three most beautiful views, mountain views of Japan. Stopped at a 7 Eleven and gonna get some breakfast and then we'll start heading out. It's about an hour and 15 minutes, but I'll show you the outside and uh, whatnot. Blue part's gonna be probably toll road, which is gonna end up being 1,900 uh, gas, I don't know, CO2 emission, 118 kilometers. Get there in two hours, seven minutes, apparently, but I doubt that because uh, your boy is a good driver. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not as much snow as I would have liked. I actually just wanted it to snow, then it'd be like, yeah, a little more. Uh, but there's actually, there's snow left on like some of the houses. really hard. It's midday and there's like no clouds so it's really tough to get a nice photo. So uh, just take photos of fun of whatever's around and uh, just enjoy it. And then that thing 
Up the next set of stairs. Oh, found this cool little shrine behind me. Um, but yeah, it's it's like just completely secluded on the top of this little like hill. And then there's literally tracks from, I don't know, a little boar or something? Next to mine, it just leads off into God knows what. It's cool discovering that, but uh, I think I'm running low on time and I need to move on to the next place. I don't know if I really got anything great, but yeah, it's been fun. It's a nice little village. Probably take a few snaps before I get in the car again and then Peace out. I'm looking good. That view though. Of just walking around this top here area here and there seems to be like little miniature rides and stuff but for the most part it's the view back there that you kind of want to see so uh, hopefully you get some good photos only problem right now is that on the other side it's much brighter than it is on this side so I'm waiting for it to be evenly lit so this is one really basic ass comp uh, composition. down at the end there there was a nice little ramp and the light was actually relatively even so I think I got something at least I think things are gonna be very contrasty though so I don't know, we'll see what the editing goes for that uh, this has been hella fun I mean the day's not over I'm trying to get one last location which is going to be a train going across a bridge there's no railings, there's nothing, it just looks like it's like a floating bridge with the train. And the train comes like once every 30 minutes, so we'll see how that goes. Well, at the last spot, and I just saw the train go by uh, on top of the bridge, and the train is like, it's like a perfect condition despite there being snow and whatnot and it's clear skies um, a little bit towards the, um, the horizon it's pretty cloudy but maybe it'll be pinkish so they didn't have like much of anything in there in terms of actual food so I got chips these are uh, truffle uh, truffle and uh, meat <laughs> Chips, I guess. Uh, cheese duck garubi. Warmed up little pizzeria thing, pizza roll. Um, wiener croissant. Crossing. Um, of course, a Lawson's red chicken. And, uh, and then two drinks. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm always down to like try new drinks, especially if they're prefecture oriented. And this one is uh, Kyoto made um, yuzu. 
to soda. But whatever, I'll try something new. And then I just have a monster for me after I die. That's me, and that's the bridge. That's a very ominous looking cloud. Anyways, the timetable for this uh, bridge is like once an hour one way. So I guess if it comes both ways, if they both use the same track, maybe twice in an hour. Uh, I need to look at the timetable again, but I'm gonna be waiting for a little bit here. So we'll see. Here's it just set up. That's what we'll be shooting at. Unfortunately, that sky is very gray on the horizon part. All right, you see? You see how the track is all dark now? Except for the lead, there's a little bit right there at the very end that has some light. Now where the f is the bloody train? If it wasn't for this, you horrible, hor oh, that looks really beautiful. You horrible, horrible sun or mountain. You're hiding my, my light. Please. Goodbye to this Lawson's. Thank you for holding the car. The sunset is a uh, woo. That looks nice. That looks better than in person almost. There you have it, day three of Kyoto. I really hope you enjoyed this day with me as I was really lucky to get some good photos. Especially the last photo of the day. I think that was honestly amazing for me. I'm quite happy about the way that turned out. And the editing process, I think was a lot better than I had originally expected when taking it. And on top of that, honestly, it's been great to hear wonderful feedback from friends, family, and you guys. It's quite an honor to have a photo be thought of as Ghibli-esque or just a scene out of an anime in general. Uh, I think that's an honor maybe I have yet to live up to yet, but I'm really grateful for those of you who have supported me with that photo. That being said, day four is up next, and that was a long day. Quite a long day. However, I think I was able to explore a little bit more than I usually have, and I think I got a, a few good photos from that day. So I hope you look forward to that one. However, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope I can see you in the next one. So, Jana. Welcome back to another soul. I can't get this right.